यंग फीमेल मॉर्निंग स्टिफनेस बायोलैट्रल हैंड पेन मॉर्निंग स्टिफनेस इज क्राइटेरिया वन बायोलैट्रल हैंड पेन इट मीन्स बोथ साइड्स हैंड एंड मोर देन थ्री जॉइंट्स इन वर्ल्ड सो फोर आउट ऑफ सेवन क्राइटेरिया आर मेट इवन विदाउट एन एक्स रे विदाउट अ ब्लड टेस्ट यू कैन डायग्नोज आर ए हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर गोविंद राय गर्ग एंड विद मी इज डॉक्टर अपू मेहरा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रोमेटॉड आर्थराइटिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डॉक्टर मेहरा विल टेल यू हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड वट आर दी मेन पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग रोमेटॉड आर्थराइटिस देन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्रग्स ऑफ रोमेटॉड आर्थराइटिस थैंक यू वेरी मच सर एंड रोमेटॉयड आर्थराइटिस इफ यू हैव टू डायग्नोज इन अ सिंपल वे यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट अ यंग फीमेल विद मॉर्निंग स्टिफनेस विद बायोलैट्रल हैंड पेन so if i look at 1987 criteria it has got seven points now 1987 87 7 last digit if four out of these seven are present you diagnose as rheumatoid arthritis number 1 is morning stiffness number 2 is more than three joints out of 14 involved the joints are pip mcp wrist elbow knee ankle mtp 7 into 2 14 of both the sides number 3 is hand involvement number 4 is bilaterally symmetrical involvement number 5 are pathognomonic rheumatoid nodules number 6 is serum rheumatoid factor and number 7 is x-ray changes 4 out of 7 is ra let's look at what i started with young female morning stiffness bilateral hand pain morning stiffness is criteria 1 bilateral hand pain it means both sides hand and more than three joints involved so four out of seven criteria are met even without an x ray without a blood test you can diagnose ra second is 2010 criteria 2010 at the end has 10 so there are total points of 10 6 or more than 6 is ra if more than 10 joints are involved five points are given if rheumatoid factor and tccp are very high three points are given if esr and crp are high one point is given if more than six week duration is there one point is given total score 10 more than equal to 6 is ra old is gold 1987 are more trusted strongly associated with ra you have a patient whose presentation is given to you they don't want to diagnose what is ra they want you to know what is the management so let us listen from the man himself management of rheumatoid arthritis sir thank you dr apu so dr apu has brilliantly explained uh, how to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis so this young female has come to us with pain in the joint and we diagnose it to be rheumatoid arthritis so first priority will be to relieve the pain so for relieving the pain we will obviously give non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs so nsaids we can give so depending upon the tolerability gi profile we can choose so normally if we can control the pain with paracetamol it is good good enough if not we can use other nsaids like diclofenac aspirin any other we can use but nsaids they only relieve pain they do not modify the disease remember rheumatoid arthritis is a multi system disease also right so it can involve other parts of the body also so we need to modify the disease or we can say we can try to retard the growth of this because right. if we do not stop the joint involvement will keep on increasing the joint will be destroyed completely in long run so we need to decrease that and the drugs doing so are called as disease modifying anti rheumatoid drugs commonly called as dmarts but most of the dmarts they will not provide relief in a single day like you give a dmart and you expect that next day the patient will be well it will not happen so dmarts are very slow to work they may take many months to produce the effect so all the dmarts they are very slow acting so now the terminology dmart has been replaced instead of dmarts we say these are sards sards are slow acting anti rheumatoid drugs Yeah. so do not get confused if in the exam they ask which of the following is a sard so simply they are asking about dmart so dmarts or sards are same thing sard means slow acting anti rheumatoid drugs now we have two type of dmarts one are called conventional dmarts that means which we are using since long time 
एंड सेकेंड आर बायोलॉजिकल डीमार्स दीज आर दी न्यू ड्रग्स विच आर फॉर्म बेस्ड ऑन दी बायोलॉजिकल रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी सो स्टार्टिंग विद दी कन्वेंशनल डीमार्स फॉर एम सी क्यू पर्पज मोस्टली द क्वेश्चन आस्ट इज अबाउट दी नेम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ डी मार्ट सो कन्वेंशनल डी मार्स यू कैन रिमेंबर दैम फ्रॉम मई फेमस निमोनिक क्यूट एंड पगली मलिका शराब क्यूट एंड पगली मलिका शराब सो सी स्टैंड फॉर क्लोरोक्विन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ क्लोरोक्विन वी कॉमनली से क्लोरोक्विन वी यूज हाइड्रोक्सी क्लोरोक्विन एंड हाइड्रोक्सी क्लोरोक्विन इन पर्टिकुलरली टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वॉज इन टॉक्स बिकॉज ऑफ येस वी वर यूजिंग इट इन कोविड टू प्रिवेंट कोविड इन्फेक्शन सो हाइड्रोक्सी क्लोरोक्विन यू मस्ट रिमेंबर सो क्लोरोक्विन और हाइड्रोक्सी क्लोरोक्विन द मेजर कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन और वे वी शुड नॉट यूज दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दीज आर वन आई प्रॉब्लम दैट मीन्स रेटिनोपैथी and second very important is these can cause qt prolongation so they should be avoided in cardiac patients then we have p for penicillin also used in copper poison a for azathioprine g r gold salts l is leflunomide i is inhibitors of genus kinase like tofacitinib these are relatively newer drugs then m is methotrexate and s is sulfasalazine now what is most important to remember methotrexate is drug of choice for rheumatoid arthritis or we can say it is a dmard of choice in almost every patient we will try to give methotrexate if it alone can provide the beneficial effect and methotrexate also used in cancers we know methotrexate is anti cancer drug but the dose used in cancers is much higher as compared to that in rheumatoid arthritis so there are lesser risk of adverse effects but the most important adverse effect you should be remembered about it can cause derangement in liver function test so mm. liver function test monitoring lft monitoring is must when we start patient on methotrexate then sulfasalazine the question special thing to remember it is also used in ulcerative colitis but very important regarding arthritis is sulfasalazine is the only drug which can be used as disease modifying agent in ankylosing spondylitis also so which drug is used as dmard as well as a disease modifying agent for ankylosing spondylitis it is sulfasalazine okay then coming to biological dmards biological dmards basically they target the uh, the processes or we can say compounds which aggravate rheumatoid arthritis and these compounds mainly include tnf alpha interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 they will aggravate the inflammation in the rheumatoid arthritis if we block them then there is less chance that it will progress so the drugs which inhibit tnf alpha you can remember them from another mnemonic ace inhibitors ko goli maro ace inhibitor ko goli maro so a stand for adalimumab c for sertolizumab e is etanercept IN is infliximab and goli is golimumab these are tnf alpha blockers then we have another drug which is interleukin 1 receptor antagonist the drug will block the interleukin 1 receptor and this drug you can remember the name is anakinra anakinra interleukin 1 receptor antagonist from the name you can remember it is saying kin means interleukin r means receptor a means antagonist so it is interleukin receptor antagonist now you need to remember which interleukin you can see the name start with a a means the first letter so it is interleukin 1 receptor antagonist yeah then the third one are interleukin 6 receptor antagonist interleukin 6 blocking antibodies and these include one drug which is sarilumab sarilumab and again from the name you can remember sarilumab it says il means interleukin s means 6 so it is against interleukin 6 and it is used for ra rheumatoid arthritis another drug which is again very important in 2020 the name of the drug was tocilizumab tocilizumab it is also interleukin 6 antagonist and why it was important last year because of again covid so in covid patient there are cytokine storm syndrome and this drug is used to treat that cytokine storm okay yeah? so these are the three main biological compounds and one last drug we have is abatacept abatacept this is called co stimulation inhibitor co stimulation inhibitor it acts like a gear lock as we discussed in immunotherapy it's a big topic you can study from immunology there. 
So these are the different drugs which are used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. So the last word from Dr. Poor. Right, sir. So from the first mnemonic of Malika Sharawat, in practical science, only remember Malika Sharawat because methotrexate and sulfasalazine are the two most important drugs which are used. Right. And sir, for Anna Kendra, I used to remember it ends with Ra. Hmm. So, yeah, yeah, again, very so good. that is one thing that I always used to think. Just like in Salimumab, you have read written in RA. Between, yeah. So, 6 and for RA, interleukin 6 blocker. And then Anna Kendra slide yes, before yes. Yeah. ends with an RA. So, this is something that you remember. Yeah. And uh, we also do combined steroids. So, this was the question asked in NEET 2019, where they had given a young man. Because in both the criteria, although clinical presentation is usually young female, Age was not a criteria. So, RA, age is not diagnosed. Yes, the young females are most commonly affected. Females are more common than males. But, age is not a criteria. So, in that exam, sir, they had given 17, 18-year-old child. Okay. And they had given the similar presentation, bilateral hand pain, joint involvement with morning stiffness. The diagnosis was RA. But the choices were such that you had to select methotrexate. They had not given an NSAID. So, methotrexaid with a steroid combination. Okay. So, that is how they can give. So, I believe it's NSAID, but steroidal uh, drugs can also be combined if there is an acute flare of RA in practical science. RA diagnosis is important. Methotrexate and sulfasalazine are important. And whatever drugs SAR have, has told, these biologicals are more and more used in RA. More so in people in which methotrexate, the drug of choice, does not function. Yes. And one last point regarding these biological compounds, they all decrease immunity. Right. So, they increase the risk of infections. Right. In particular, two infections, if they are already present, we should never give them. These are tuberculosis and hepatitis B. Right. And one final word, you are living in Nara, where the world has been changed by an infection called as COVID. Whatever drugs, sir has told, are overlapping with uh, COVID, more so hydroxychloroquine, and uh, tocilizumab. Yeah. So these drugs uh, should be there. Means yes. this they mistake should, should not be. They there. should be remembered because uh, uh, very highly likely to be asked in the exams. Right. And uh, this is all about RA as an integration between uh, the the pharma and orthopedics. But remember one thing: everything in RA is going to reduce the inflammation, and uh, the tissue for the joints which is inflamed is the synovium. So, there is a synovitis and this inflamed synovium is called as a panis, which will destroy a normal joint of a child with a smooth pearl-like surface, very, very smooth. When destroyed, this smooth pearl-like surface will become rough like a road. This is how arthritis occurs. Rough like Delhi roads. Yeah, Delhi roads. And this is what Sir said, that you are giving drugs so that you retard the progress. You are trying to control the inflammation. And that is the term he used, DMARDs or SARDs. So thank you very much, sir, for having me in this video. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Poop, for enlightening the students. Thank you.